Hi guys, welcome back to the MCM Buzz Stage. We are live here in Birmingham and I'm very happy to welcome two stars from Murdoch Mysteries. Please welcome Thomas Craig and Helene Joy. Thank you. Hello. So how are you guys? Fantastic. This is super fun. Welcome to Birmingham. <laughs> Thank you. This is my first time. <laughs> I've been to Birmingham a few times. <laughs> and uh, have you been to the UK much before? Yeah, traveling around a bit in between, you know. I travel quite a bit and off to Europe, so yes, but never on, on work. Yeah, and uh, obviously you're a Brit, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I live in London. <laughs> you might just... Yeah, and you're from the north, but you are actually from Australia, is that right? I'm born in Australia, yeah, but I live in Toronto now, in Canada. Mm -hmm. And um, so you're on Mont Murdoch Mysteries, you film in Toronto, and essentially you're turning back the city, I guess, a hundred years to film there. So does, what's that like and does it ever cause any problems trying to sort of change the, the city around? Uh, we, we film all the interiors in a studio but uh, all the exteriors are on location out of Toronto. Mm -hmm. Toronto's not really uh, set up for Victorian era Toronto. No. So it's mainly uh, in Hamil places like Hamilton uh, and all, <laughs> all around the GTA. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Ontario, Toronto, uh, the the um, province that Toronto is in uh, has beautiful towns all around that are very Victorian and so they throw a bit of sawdust down on the street and we're good to go. Brilliant, I mean it looks fantastic and uh, one of the things we see also is that you have some amazing sort of costumes and uh, things to wear. How comfortable are those? And, uh, do They're you really, have any really uncomfortable. Yeah, for you as well. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, for some reason they only wore wool in summer. Yeah. And, uh, you know, everything's for five layers. So we're either freezing in the winter or boiling in the summer. So yeah. <laughs> we, d we did an episode a few years, uh, about three years ago, and the script said it's the hottest day of the year. And we were filming on a beach, and it was the hottest day of the year. Wow. And it was so uncomfortable. Yeah, it was like 42 degrees or something, and we were just on the beach, no shade. Oh, my God. And, you know, in wool stockings. Yeah, well, I remember that scene. You sort of take them off, and you run around. And then there's also the scene where you're um, playing basketball in a really <laughs> odd facility for these days. Fetching outfit, wasn't it? <laughs> you're a fan, Tom. I am. <laughs> um, and speaking of the fans, um, you guys have now just got your 10th season. Congratulations. Thank you. That's kind of amazing. It is. And you guys are still obviously so popular now. What do you think it is that keeps fans uh, so avid and still involved in the show? Uh, we, we had a new lease of life after season five. We got took up by CBC. So we went out all over Canada, whereas before we were not all around Canada. So it's like a new show in effect, rather than yeah. 10 seasons. It's almost like five seasons, isn't it? The show's been took off. The writing is very, very good. And, uh, and it also helps we're also damn good looking. <laughs> well, don't know about that. No, but the show, the show appeals to that many genres, the mystery element, the romance element and there's comedy in it it's it's i think it everybody's got a bit of something invested in it and i believe yannick just won a canadian screen award the fan choice award yeah fan choice award yeah so, so how is that for you guys i mean as a show as well i'm so glad for him <laughs> is it you next <laughs> <laughs> And what's it like working? We did with do nothing. Uh, <laughs> what's it like working with Yannick, um, especially <laughs> as the? <laughs> it's all right. Oh, you love kissing him. <laughs> we um, we have a lot of chemistry on camera. You do. But everybody wants to know if it bleeds over into real life. It does not. We're, we're very professional. At this point, you know, we say good morning. <laughs> no. And good evening. We're all very pleasant to one another on set, but you know. I don't secretly have a, you know, feelings that aren't expressed for, for Yannick we, Bisson. Yeah, we spend so much time <laughs> together. We spend 14 hours a day working together. Yeah. We're not going to see one another away from work. <laughs> no. But at work, over the nine seasons, you guys must have some funny stories to tell from being on set together. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sure we do. I'm sure we do. That's a bit you put it's us on the spot there. It's this terrible blur, though. It really is. You know, um, it all just runs into one. I can never remember what every episode was about. But we, we have a, f you know, what's really wonderful is that um, somehow, I don't know how it's ma worked this way, but our crew has managed to come back and back. You know, they're often 
taken off onto different gigs and things, but somehow they keep coming back. And so we have this massive family of people. And in actual fact, we have so much fun behind the scenes. Um, you know, that's the kind of stuff that I remember every day. Just yeah. silliness. Yeah. yeah, no, it's good. It's a, a good environment to work in. Yeah. And um, so I know as well that uh, one of the special things about your set is you actually invite fans onto the set for a fan day. So what are those like? It's bizarre. Uh, <laughs> no, we, I think they've been doing it for the last three years and we have a weekend where it's Saturday and a Sunday and we, I think we get 2,000 people through the doors and people come from all over the world, especially the southern states of America and, and Europe and everywhere. It's bizarre, but it's fantastic. I mean, that sound, I mean, it sounds amazing. And one of the things that people must be looking at is some of the inventions that you guys sort of come up with and that kind of thing. We have a, a genius props designer. Yeah. He really is. He's on Twitter. And it's for people who follow the show, you can also follow him. He often, um, what's his handle? Prop Monkey. Prop Monkey. He's called <laughs> yeah. Craig Grant. Yeah, and he really is a genius. And uh, I watch the things he does. I can't believe what he does. Yeah. And he makes everything from scratch. He designs them and... Anyway, and they're everywhere and they're on display, you know, when people come to the set. It's he, extraordinary. He's a tortured genius, though, isn't he? Yeah. He, he, he has more uh, tantrums than the actors. <laughs> he's very funny. Yeah, he's very funny. Um, well, out of those inventions, do you have favourites? I, I think I've said this before, the truth machine, yeah. the lie detector machine was a really good one. Because we could use that every episode and there would be no show, you know what I mean? So... It actually is yeah. one of my favourites as well, just because of the wonderful scenes. You know, one of my favourite scenes there was when they were taunting him and asking him, like, do, is, are you in love with someone? Yeah, 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 it was a fabulous scene. So, um, right now I can't think of any other. Can, can the fans think of any other amazing inventions? He invented chewing gum, I think. He invented chewing gum? I think he did. <laughs> pizza. He invented pizza. <laughs> I invented buffalo wings last year. Shout out to Buffalo Wings. Buffalo Wings. <laughs> well, one of the things you just mentioned is the love relationships. And talking about that, were you finally, when you finally got married um, to Murdoch, uh, were you sort of really happy about that scene? Or do you, do you now like the change in the relationship between you and Murdoch? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was a long time coming and the fans were getting frustrated. Um, but brilliantly, they managed to make that last for about eight years. Once we did get married there's always the risk that that you know could lose interest but yeah. the writers have been really smart so now we get to do and express things that could never have been done before yeah, Pre seems, press. yeah because lighter. it's Victorian um, suddenly we're we're much cozier and we you know so it's so much more playful romantic so I think everybody's actually enjoying it do you like that change in your character Oh, absolutely. Any time, and people have said this to me, fans, any time that Julia gets to loosen up and have fun, everybody loves it, yeah. myself <laughs> included, because uh, otherwise it's all very uptight. Well, what would you guys like to see happen uh, in the next season for each other's characters? I, I think it's about time. I, I don't know if it would be good for me as a person, but maybe to get the, become the chief constable at the end of season 10 and then just drift in season 11 now and again. <laughs> You changed your tune yesterday. You said you'd like your character to have an affair. Oh, yeah, and an affair. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret's sister. Her sister's a cracker. That's terrible. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. I've never met Margaret's Watch sister. Out, Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. I don't know. I think that um, whatever it is Julia does, it should be done in Paris. That's all I know. We should be shooting something in France. Ju Julia should invent the miniskirt. <laughs> Tom... Um, so we'd like to take some questions from the audience. Does anyone has uh, a question for our panelists? Please stick your hand up. Yes, we have one. <laughs> My question would be uh, for Tom. Um, your character on the show is fantastic. I already said it's my favourite one that he's on the show. Say that louder. <laughs> um, right here. How much of your own personality do you put into that character? Because you see. You seem very much like the character in yourself. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not acting? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm as angry in real life as my character is, but uh, I suppose the writers, they didn't know me when I got the job and they kind of write for your personality. I was cast kind of blind. I was just offered the job in England without even meeting anybody in Canada. So they didn't know what they were getting. So 
they've, they've adapted me to me, I suppose. Any I'm, more pressure? I'm not, very, I'm not very tough in real life, though. That's a total opposite for me. Yeah. yeah she's very clever like in the show and she's not in real life. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's all true. Hi. Hiya. Um, because you've spent so much time doing this program, have you got any other projects on the line? Any more um, projects work-wise? Right. It's kind of ongoing. I, you know, I've been working on a project, a uh, short film project for some time. It's all about time, actually. Having the time to do it and, and build it. And we have these hiatuses between the show. And I, got, I travel a lot and I, I, it kind of becomes my project. I'm going to travel around the world and not work at the <laughs> um, until I have to work again. But yeah, there's always, you know, there's other jobs come and go. But the funny thing is, is once you do a series that has this kind of success and, and that is this quality, you can't really rush off and do everything or any, you know, you have to become a little bit more selective. And, uh, and also you don't need the job. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, it, <laughs> you tend to be quite selective. So there's not that much going on. We've seen you direct before. Is there any chance you might direct in Med Up Mysteries, either of you? Who's directed before? You no, I haven't. No. Or well, would you like to direct in the show? M Murdoch Mysteries isn't a show that I would like to direct. That's not where my interest lies. It's more uh, my, my own writing. So that would be, if I was to move in that direction, it would be that way. Writing. Mm -hmm. I think I'd be more interested in directing in theatre than TV. TV just takes all your time up. Yeah. It's a real like slog as a director, I think. Well, one last question from us. If you could give a piece of advice to your season one characters from your season nine characters, what would it be? Lose weight. <laughs> like, do something with your hair. <laughs> what are you even thinking? Season one, I think someone said once, that shouldn't have said it, it was like an executive producer said, you know, I don't know what's happening with all of the women. This is season one. And they said, everybody, all the women come in, they're really beautiful. And then once we're finished with them, they look like they have dead animals on their heads. Yeah, it's so it's really lovely that you guys stuck with us because we, we, uh, we learned a lot season one and then improved our game. And so my hair's a lot nicer now. Well, you both look great now on the show. And the show in general is fantastic. And it's really great to have you here. So thank you for coming. Everybody, please say thank you to Thomas Craig and Helene Joy. Thank you for having us. Thank yeah, you. thanks for having us. And don't forget, we are still giving away some great signed uh, posters from our guests this weekend. So oh, look at that hair, yeah. dude. I know, we've got, we've got Thomas as well. <laughs> so don't forget. Being angry. <laughs> Looking very angry, yeah. So don't forget to uh, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on uh, YouTube, and you can have a chance to win those. Thank you once again to our guests, Thomas Craig and Helene Joy. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.